All right, let's go. For the last 10 years, Neil Mara has felt a pull to the dirt. And the minute I saw this place, I said, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen and I wanna help. This is an Eastern Washington field on the surface. This is the actual dig site. Beneath it, history. When they got to this slope area here, they started to find mammoth bones. In 1999, the owner of this land first discovered mammoth remains. Although it took almost 10 years for a new owner to give the all clear to investigate, but Neil says he had two conditions. I will let you do that under the condition that you share it with the schools and the local community and that you keep my name anonymous. With the blessing of the anonymous landowner, the scientists started a nonprofit. This piece right here. And since 2010. Is likely a lower leg bone. They've been meticulously digging. You always have to be careful where you step. Uncovering more and more mammoth. The front of the animal is over there. The tail of the animal is over there. But it's not just about the bones. Knowing where something was buried is at least as important as the thing itself. The scientists collect every piece of dirt around the bones to see what else they can uncover from that time period. So what we want is to collect soil samples from present day all the way down the soil layers, all the way down to where the mammoth is. We know from our radiocarbon dating that our mammoth died 17,000 years ago. So that's a 17,000 year time period that we have data on, on how the climate has changed in this specific area. And with this research, they're keeping their promise to the landowner. This is a tooth. Also hosting tours of the dig site. Oh wow. I found a skull that looks like it's from a mouse. Yep, yep. Letting kids sift through the dirt from nearby fields. But when they get here, they get very excited because they get to hunt for stuff and they find stuff and wherever they find, they get to keep. And the teaching doesn't stop here. So it's the upper part of his backbone. That's cool. They get really big. The team brings replicas of the bones to Tri-Cities Museums. So you hold this. Kids like Kobe. And start walking that way. Are hooked on the science. Stop. This is how long the longest tusk ever found was. It weighed over 200 pounds. I have a question. Is it pretty hard, like, putting it together? Like It can be really hard. Oh, so, what happens if it, like, breaks or something? That's what makes it hard. This is what drives the team. Of the 20 people on staff, none of them are paid in money. It's all volunteer. Just a once-in-a-lifetime experience. These bones over here are a bit of a mystery. And they're moving slowly, relying on tour ticket sales and donations to stay funded. But they know every piece uncovered. Back here, we found a couple of more vertebra. Is a better glimpse into the past. I'm holding a bone that's 11,000 years old. This is older than Stonehenge. It's older than the Great Pyramids of Egypt. It's older than just about anything human beings have ever made except for a few cave paintings and stone tools. This project is so much deeper than the bones. And scientists believe this will give the best glimpse at the climate for this area for this length of time that we've seen so far. If you want to come see it with your own eyes, just text uh, the word bones to 206-448-4545.